All right. Huge Movie Fanatics back with a sequel to Child's Play 2 called Child's Play 3. And I don't know if this really has a tagline. I can't remember. I, I haven't so. seen the cover or anything like that for a it while. Has a, it has like a, a tagline, but it doesn't have a subtitle to it. Right, right. What's the tagline? I can't remember. It is something... Child's Play 3. Look who's stalking. I can't. I just can't remember. I saw it yesterday, actually, when I was at uh, Barnes and Noble. I was putting stuff away, and that's the movie leaving our store. Um, oh, that's leaving your store. Oh no. Or wait. Yeah, it's leaving. We're the sending movie. it back oh. to the publishers. Oh, sorry, Chucky. But Child's Play three. Now there was this cool trailer. It was probably more like a just a TV ad that I saw on TV. <laughs> Imagine that. When. Uh, which was, it was, the, it was summer 91, it was getting towards the end of summer, this was, you saw I was getting depressed and there was this perfect, like, trailer on TV, like, TV spot for it. It's like... End of summer blues got you down? Well, you're in luck, because here comes the Chuck. Chucky's back. You know how they begin a trailer where you don't necessarily know what it is, like, end of summer blues got you down? And it's like, Wah! I can't remember exactly, but I mean, that that was the beginning of it. And this summer blues got you down. I'm like, yeah. I didn't say it to the yeah. TV, but. And Chucky's back. And I had no, this is before internet, so I mean, I had no idea. You know, you don't know what the hell's going on. That was the first time I, I was like, oh, it's another Child's Play? All right. You know, I was 14. I'm, I'm, I'll see another Child's Play. So this came out like almost, well, it would have been, I can't remember what time of year. I can't remember what time of year Child's Play 2 came out, but this is like a year or a little more over a year later. I mean, it was the following year. Child's Play 2 came out in 90, and this came out, you know, fall of 91. So, God, they're really churning them up. But anyway, they, they probably thought, I don't know, let's just forget this Andy, or I mean, this Alex, the young Andy Barkley yeah. shit, and it's like, well, let's do something different. And I do, I do regard this one as probably better than the second one because... I don't know, something, although I'm not obviously, that's not obvious, but I mean, I'm not a military person or anything like that. This is just, I don't know, it was just, I kind of like, I guess I kind of like, I don't know if we've ever seen that guy since or before. I kind of like that guy. The, the, who played Andy in this one? Yeah. Uh, he was in uh, The Adventures of Lois and Clark. He played Jimmy Olsen on like all four or five seasons of that show. Six well, I kind of like him in the movie and I like that girl who, you know, Whatever, kind of like. Can't remember. Uh, I think she, I've seen her too. I can't remember her anymore though. But uh, of course, they 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 do end up doing the young, the young kid thing with whatever his name is, the, the young kid, yeah. the young kid. So they, they, the the writers probably like, oh shit, we need a young kid in there because the thing is, we we forgot to mention, <laughs> as we so famously do, about two is that he's all about trying to get into okay. Andy's yeah. fucking body. That's yeah. what the whole goddamn movie's about. I don't think he really necessarily... Did he want to do that in the first one? Probably. Yeah, he wanted to do that in the first so one. So he yeah. wants to do that all the time. <laughs> That's what all the movies are about. So, you know, so this one is, I can remember, Chucky's going to be a bro. And it's just like, oh, come on, give me a break. And um, so now he's going to, now he picks this kid who I can't remember, like, the character's name at all. But I'm sure he had one. I can't remember it. But um, I don't know. I, I like this more, but I can't give it more than probably two and a half stars as well, but I remember liking this as well, and just like, I just basically, the thing that sticks out for me is just the kid who, or the guy who plays Andy, and that girl who ended up coming around to his whatever, and I like the, you know, the, the end where it's like Funhouse, you know, mm -hmm. Funhouse slash Child's Play, and I, I do, I mean, I like all the military, I mean, I don't like the military, but I like the mili I like the the way it, I like it in the movie, <laughs> you know, and the fact that it, the, the the cool thing about the, the the thing where they go out and they do the paintball thing and Chucky puts real bullets in there. That was kind of cool because it was like there's that slow mo that guy who's just an extra no one. He's like, and it's like. You know, and that was just cool to see. And it's like, we're firing rear, and no one can hear you. We've got real bullets, and it's like, Doo! and that one guy, like it's a real battlefield or whatever, jumps on the grenade. And it's like, Whoa. that was sad. Yeah, um, <laughs> I I like this movie better than Two by Leaps and Bounds. Oh. Um, 
I give this one two and a half. I think you're right on that. Uh, the movie that <laughs> adds, or the thing that adds to this movie is character development. Uh, what's the writer's name? Don Mancini, yeah, something right. like that. He's he wrote all six of them. And directed uh, the directed last, last two, two <laughs> which we'll discuss. Anyway, um, he uh, he like for the, he was like, wow, I should get some characters for this time around because I forgot <laughs> to do that last time. They were just names. Um, so this time he had character development. I liked the friend who did jump on the grenade and took the oh, uh, yeah, took the shot. I liked the, <laughs> the girl. I liked the kid. I liked uh, Andy in this one. Um, I thought it was still insanely contrived on how Chucky came back with the... Uh, just melted into the... Uh, yeah, he was the melted thing and when the claw came and picked him up, he accidentally pierced a little bit of the blood and it spilled out into the mix and created a brand new Chucky and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, that, why aren't there like a legion of Chucky if that's what happened? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone produced after that should be Chucky. Yeah, that's so dumb. But I mean, <laughs> visually it was cool, like looking at it and stuff, that whole scene was interesting, but I was just sitting there even at, like when I saw it in 1990, what it had been, seven, eight? I was just like, what? This is stupid. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I liked the whole military aspect. It was different, it was fresh, completely yeah. new setting. Um, and so I appreciated that. The ending was kind of cool, how they just tore him up with a fan. Um, and face off. Uh, yeah. Oh, first the space got sliced yeah. off. So I, I liked that whole thing. Uh, it's just still it was a far cry from what the first one was. Um, but uh, there's enough creative in there that I say this is an okay movie. I, like it's not one that I. Uh, love, but if it was on TV, I wouldn't flip the channel or anything like if that. If you couldn't find the remote, <laughs> yeah, you'd I, suffer through it. Yeah, pretty much. I, would, I wouldn't even say suffer. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's an alright movie. Uh, definitely better than the second one. So I, I can remember one thing that stands out at the very beginning, which is true, is the, the, all them at the board meeting or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what are kids after all except consumer tradies? <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's, it, that's exactly true. Yeah. And that's just so shitty. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that guy actually went on to play uh, the part in the Robot Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your review for that. Um, well, you were there when... I mean, like, where oh, you, you put all the videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I remember when I... It was so funny, not to pat myself on the back, but I'm like, Elbow Bands at 70, and I put this picture of him going... <laughs> yeah, right, right. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's basically a guy who made B movies in the 50s directing this who's like 70, I don't know how old he was when yeah. he directed it, 75. Uh, Charles Band's dad. <laughs> not, to, not to, you know, toot my own horn, but that was great. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I edited the shit out of that movie, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You did a good job. You can that. tell when I'm interested in a review, there'll yeah. be all these clips and yeah. shit. And if I'm not, there's no clips. Well, yeah. not everything, but whatever. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the guy who ended up playing that. I don't know his character, but, yeah. Yeah, um, so, I don't know, two and a half. Two and a half, forward. I like it more than two, but I don't, for some, some reason, <laughs> it's the same stars. Maybe two is, yeah, two, two would normally, this is why, because two would normally be two stars, mm -hmm. but just that extra bit of childhood yeah. and whatever gives it the half, that, that's why. All right, thanks for watching, and you can probably guess what movie will be uploaded next. Have a great one.